Mayor Scott Reed. Okay, Scott, is this a budget that the people will choose uh, in terms of picking uh, Doug Ford again as Premier and the, the PCs? Well, it certainly is a big spending budget. I mean, it's a gigantic spending budget. So when you look at the three parties as we're about to launch in this election campaign, there's no one saying, yo, are you looking for some fiscal conservatism? Because we got it right here. Not the Liberals, not the NDP, and maybe surprisingly, not even the Conservatives. There isn't a trace of fiscal conservatism here. And I think it's in response to conditions. You know, we're coming out of the pandemic. People are still feeling quite vulnerable. There's a lot of needs to be filled and cost of living is skyrocketing. And so government is eager to say, we are finding ways to put money back in your pocket, a tax credit here, uh, an investment there, a tax cut. So you know, I think this sets up the election pretty well for the Conservatives, but they're clearly focused on making sure that they look like they are not going to get outspent by anybody else. And boy, they're not going to get outspent. Right. It, yeah, it is kind of unusual. But again, an election is coming. There won't be debate on this budget. So what's the significance of that? It, the only the significance is that um, this is a, a campaign document. This is the launch of the campaign, and this is one of the instruments you can use as a government. We are about to enter into an election campaign. Here's the budget. This is effectively our platform. We're not just promising. We're telling you this is what we're all about. And you know, I've, it actually created a little bit of an interesting piece of. Um, political theater yesterday, the finance minister was asked, well, will you reintroduce this budget if you're reelected? Mm -hmm. And he kind of stammered all over the place. Well, we'll have to see. People have to vote for us first. And he kind of lost control of the message. And it was just a brain clench. The right answer was, of course, we will if we're reelected. Right. Instead, you know, he, he went and said, well, you have to elect us first. And it it kind of took them off track messaging. So I don't think you're going to see the finance minister in front of the microphones during this campaign a ton because he didn't carry the Cambry well yesterday. Interesting. The premier's office came out and clarified that, yes, indeed, this is the budget that they're going to put forward if they're reelected. But what are the polls showing? Are the are, are the, the PCs, are the progressive conservatives in, in a good situation right now to take power once again? You know, the polls have moved around a little bit recently. So the most movement has actually been on the other side of the ledger, not so much with the government standing as the opposition parties. For a long time, the Liberals and the NDP were neck and neck, looked like they both were going to be, um, you know, sort of tied almost in the polls. More recently, it looks like the Liberals have pulled ahead of the NDP. So, you know, right now, the government is very close to on track to winning um, a, a majority mandate again, but it's tightened up a little bit. So you've kind of got... The government, high to mid-30s. They need to be in the high 30s to get that majority. Liberals sneaking up into the 30s. And it looks like the NDP have maybe dropped back to low 20s. So it sets up right now for, frankly, a race that is the Conservatives to lose. Um, but it's no guarantee that they won't lose it. Okay. Scott Reed, always appreciate your insight. Thank you. Thanks, Jen. See ya.